Uh, first of all, thank you so much for this interview with the Romanian uh, public television, a very timely interview, I would say. Um, sir, you have been uh, SecGen for almost five years. How would you describe uh, Romania's role within NATO in these five years? What is the uh, added value of Romania in NATO? Romania is really a staunch uh, ally uh, and uh, during my tenure as Secretary General um, I have uh, seen uh, Romania uh, contribute significantly uh, to NATO-led operations, notably uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, during my mandate as Secretary General, Romania has even stepped up uh, its uh, engagement uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, and that's highly uh, appreciated. Uh, your uh, servicemen and women have done a great job. They have really contributed to making uh, a difference. Um, and um, uh, I'm very grateful for that. Uh, Romania has also contributed uh, in a valuable way when it comes to uh, our political discussions uh, within our alliance. So I have all reasons to congratulate Romania uh, on its uh, anniversary uh, of membership of uh, NATO. It's been uh, 10 years and now the picture is somehow uh, different. We have seen Russia uh, annexing uh, Crimea and no one knows uh, when or if Russia stops. Um, what can NATO do about it? Well, first of all, uh, it's our obligation uh, to ensure uh, effective uh, protection and defense uh, of uh, our populations and our member states. To that end, uh, we have um, uh, deployed uh, AWACS aircrafts to improve our surveillance uh, over Romania and Poland. We have uh, enhanced uh, our air policing uh, in the three uh, Baltic states. You have seen um, naval exercises uh, in the Black Sea. Uh, just to mention uh, some examples of how uh, we have uh, strengthened uh, our collective defense and demonstrated our clear determination to ensure effective defense uh, of uh, our allies. Furthermore, uh, we have uh, decided to enhance our cooperation uh, with um, uh, Ukraine and we have suspended uh, practical cooperation with Russia. What uh, shall we expect um, in uh, the near future regarding this uh, reinforcing and uh, reassurance of uh, allied countries? Um, we are right now uh, looking into how we can further strengthen uh, our collective uh, defense and that may involve a number of um, uh, measures uh, including uh, updating and further developing uh, our uh, defense plans, um, enhanced uh, exercises, appropriate uh, deployment, just to mention some examples. Um, one of the top um, military commander of NATO said recently that um, Moldova could be the next vic victim. Uh, are you worried about it? We are indeed very worried uh, about uh, the Russian military build-up uh, along uh, the Ukrainian uh, borders. We call on Russia to pull back its troops, uh, refrain uh, from uh, further interference, further intervention, uh, and live up to its uh, international obligations. Do you envisage any uh, further cooperation with Moldova? Uh, that's for Moldova to, to decide, uh, but we remain open. Um, we have a partnership with Moldova uh, already. Uh, we have even um, strengthened our cooperation. Uh, recently, Moldova decided uh, to contribute uh, to uh, our K4 mission uh, in uh, Kosovo, uh, which is uh, highly uh, appreciated. We fully respect um, Moldova's uh, constitutional um, requirement to stay uh, neutral. We fully respect that, but within that framework we are ready to further develop uh, our cooperation uh, with uh, Moldova. Against this rather tense uh, background, um, 
What is your uh, opinion now about uh, the open door policy or about the whole and free Europe project? NATO's door remains open. Um, and uh, I think um, that open door policy, including uh, enlargements uh, of uh, NATO, uh, have been a great uh, success. Uh, this year we are celebrating uh, the 15th, 10th and 5th anniversaries uh, of gradual enlargements uh, of uh, NATO. And uh, these enlargements um, have uh, contributed to creating a Europe a whole, free and uh, at peace. Uh, these enlargements, together with uh, European Union enlargements, um, have contributed to creating a zone uh, of uh, peace, stability and prosperity uh, in, in Europe. So our door remains open, but of course, to enter NATO, to, to join NATO, uh, applicant countries must uh, fulfill uh, certain uh, criteria. Are you satisfied with the level of expenses of um, the Allies, defense expenses? W what would you recommend? I would recommend uh, uh, higher uh, investments uh, in, uh, in defense. I think what we have seen uh, in Crimea uh, is a wake-up call uh, for Europe, a reminder that we can't take our security uh, for granted. Um, and um, uh, we have to reverse the trend of declining defense budgets if we are to ensure um, uh, effective uh, defense and deterrence and protection of our populations um, uh, in, in the future. I realize it's difficult because of uh, the economic uh, crisis. Uh, governments are struggling with their budgets, struggling to uh, decrease uh, deficits. That's also important. But what we have seen in Crimea is a wake-up call. Uh, and um, uh, I think uh, governments in Europe uh, should consider how they can gradually uh, increase uh, defense investments. Thank you so much for this interview, sir. Thank you. You're welcome.